Hey YouTube, Sky Muscle here back with another analysis and or, you know, breaking news update with you guys. I want to talk about HGH, the side effects, and this isn't knocking the pro bodybuilders of today. It's just kind of giving an insight to the younger generation if, you know, they want to do steroids because it's getting popular more and more and more. So I just want to say or give you an outlook or perspective on if you were to take HGH, and I've never taken it but it circulates and I do a lot of research and this is fact, most of it is fact and other, others is insight from the context of what I've read. But what happens is when you take HGH, every tissue of muscle grows in your body. Not only do you get big arms, a big chest, big everything, traps, you know, your brain grows, your fucking intestines grow. This is why you see people with distended stomachs. What that is, it's from the intestines. They still have abs. That's because that's the muscle on the outside, but the intestines grow. What happens when the intestines grow is they poke through your belly button causing, I believe it's umbilical uh, hernia. So it's a herniated uh, belly button. What happens is it starts pushing through that wall of the stomach and it, and it looks as if some, your belly button's an Audi and then it starts growing. And what happens over time is you're gonna get surgery from it and the abs start pulling apart. There's gonna be a gap in between your abs. There's gonna be you know a two, three inch gap. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not knocking anybody. I'm just giving an insight because if you were to use this drug, you are going to get a distended stomach. And that is totally going against everything in bodybuilding because what is the goal of bodybuilding? It's to have the most it's to have the slimmest waist possible with the physique that is symmetrical, right? You want to have everything even. You want to have it all symmetrical with the smallest waist possible. If you have a distended stomach, that goes against everything. You shouldn't be a bodybuilder. And I'm not knocking anybody. This is just for reference for anybody wanting to use steroids. And most people think, you know, steroids are, you know, you're cheating, blah, blah, blah. It is if you're competing, but if you're not, it's something the person chose to do because they decided in their mind they will do whatever it takes to get their physique. And people look at them and automatically assume they use steroids, even if they're not on them, but even if they are, they, they take credit away from them, but they're still putting in the work. And you gotta remember, they are the ones that decided and told themselves that they would do whatever it takes. And you know, steroids is one of the steps that they took. And whether it's HGH, Dbol, Anadrol, Sustin, um, the growth hormones, testosterone boosters, testy, testipinate, you're taking needles. Uh, the only thing that I would not consider, you know, having to do with any steroid people think is synthol, which all it is is oil injected in the arms and traps and chest. I don't know where else you could put it. I don't know any other uh, insights on where to put it because I don't research it because I'm not interested in that. But I could also relate back to the 80s and 90s going back on the topic of HGH. You never seen anybody with a stomach or a distended stomach. You know why? Because what steroids did, they would not give you that. There's, there's something in human growth hormone which makes every muscle fiber grow and steroids, what they do is they just increase your protein synthesis, which makes you bigger. Not necessarily here because your intestines aren't growing. It's just the muscles. That's why you look at Frank Zane, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Lou Ferrigno, Franco Col Colombo. You look at all of them. Look at them. They slim, tiny waists, big arms, and they're just cut and ripped out of their mind. Now you look at Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler, Kai Green, all these guys, distended stomachs. And it doesn't happen at first. Over time, after you get the surgeries and you sew it back up, their abs start pulling apart. And any guy out there that says they are ripped and they are not on steroids, you know, they're just ripped. But if you look at all the bodybuilders that say they're not on steroids, think about it. That genetics play only a certain amount of role in how big you're going to get. You know, I train hard as hell and I eat right and clean. And, um... I'm, to my, I'm not to my full potential yet because I'm younger, but I still got time. I'm not at my peak. I think peak's about 24, 25 years old. And I'm not there yet because I'm not fully an adult, fully developed with my mind and or body. 
So I will achieve the best I can be. And I have used things in the past before, but my body doesn't rely on it. I don't rely on it. I don't take crazy things. HGH is one of the crazier things. You're going to get a bigger forehead, bigger head. Your, your whole, everything in your body is going to grow. You name it, it grows. It's, it's how HGH works. And, you know, something in my life I would never take because I want to be a bodybuilder. I want to be a powerlifter. And I don't want a big stomach. I don't want a distended stomach. I want to be lean, ripped, and just, you know, slim in the waist area. Like, it looks better than, you know, it takes away. If you have big arms and it, you have a gut, it takes away from it. So everything goes hand in hand. And, um, I mean, this is just not a knocking video. This is insight on HGH as, as a whole in the human body and how it works. And um, if you have any other questions, comment down below. And or just instead of telling me I'm wrong or don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, go search it online. I'm just trying to ease it down and break it down in a, uh, a video to where I can explain it easier. Because they're going to use all these high context uh, words and you're not going to understand if you're not into lifting and haven't been around it for like me four or five years. But if that's how you want to go and approach uh, getting your information, go ahead by no means possible. I'm just trying to help out the people out there that don't know what it is and want some more knowledge on uh, bodybuilding and whatnot because I have experience. Not all the experience, I have enough experience, but I have experience. So I'm just explaining that to you guys. So um, if you guys want another tutorial, or not necessarily a tutorial, but like analysis or insight on a, on a drug or something, I have my research, I have the knowledge that I know from my own experience and I could try to help you guys out. So uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos and uh, tell me what you guys think. Thanks.